Hello, welcome to One Piece, chapter 1035, Zoro versus King. This isn't a Jesus review today. Jesus could not make the queue today. He was stuck in queue for 6,000 players. <clears throat> so I am here as substitute. So the chapter is... 1035, Zoro versus King. The cover spread of the chapter is a limited covered series, number 25, volume 1. Escape Whole Cake Island. As we see the Germa Kingdom from Whole Cake Island. I mean, the Germa Kingdom is escaping Whole Cake Island as we see all the snails... The sea snails with all the castle pieces in disarray as they're fleeing Whole Cake Island. It's been a while since we've had a cover spread. I'm excited to see where this goes. I really like to see how Germa is doing. Obviously, this is past events that probably already happened. So, we start the chapter off with a heavy blow as we see Sanji's kick affecting Queen flying him all the way out of the out of the uh, Onigashima's floating island as it seems Queen is unconscious as we see him fly through the air off the island piece we see Sanji back just panting and wheezing, glaring at where he sent Queen flying off. And we see the the woman that Queen was going to injure, glancing around, looking for the mouse. Chuji, she... Chuji, where is Chuji? That's the mouse. But we see that Sanji has already found the mouse. In the palm of his hand, the mouse lays there, squeakingly, happily. <laughs> Chuji, she exclaims thank goodness it was a bit dangerous there so i thank you so much squeak and then we see uh sanji reminding remembering about him feeding mice when he was in prison that failure he's feeding the mice again but he remembers this fondly as a good memory miss are you okay? And then he cuts out and faints onto the floor. Skull Dome, Left Brain Tower, Pleasure Hall Battle, Victor Sanji. As he falls to the ground, unconscious. And the lady, someone help, he needs first aid. Then we cut, we cut back to King's fight with Zoro. Slash as King's flaming sword sliced into him. <sighs> and it seems he cut King's mask right off. Or damaged it to the point of him showing his face. Just as I thought. When the flame on his back is out, he's faster. Zoro thinks to himself. But his defenses get weaker. As we see King rip off his mask, we see a... Handsome fellow with braided hair, and it seems he has a tattoo around his eye. Huh? And then we see some of the animal kingdoms, I mean, the Kaido's henchmen, see King's face. No way, King Sama's mask! So the rumors were true black wings, white hair, and dark brown skin. The world government is offering a hundred million berries for any information on... Uh, uh, no, wait! We don't mean... Uh, as King... He looks at the men who were about to say what he is. No, wait, we didn't mean... And then King lets out an attack with his flaming sword. Imperial fire as a dragon soars through the air full of magma. Imperial fire dragon. 
and it seems that the men were burnt to a crisp as the dragon burns them to a crisp. <laughs> but it is a pretty cool panel because we see King lighting up his sword with like no expression other than annoyance as he knows that they were going to say what his race was. So the wings are a part of his race. Fascinating. And then we see Zoro in a different area. The castle was already in an inferno. And that's also no way to treat your men. <laughs> you'd better be... You'd better... You'd be better on focusing on me than throwing a tantrum. So... The government is interested in your kind, huh? Want to tell me about your race? And then we see King fully unmasked. And I'm going to say he's an handsome, handsome fellow. But that is an interesting tattoo around his eye. As we see King transform into the pterodactyl. Or the, the type of zone he is. He, I know it's not the pterodactyl. It's a different... Um, different species of dinosaur uh but we see his his face actually turn into it and it's it's definitely a lot more um detailed than we usually see it with the mask over him why should i bother you'll be dead soon he says to zoro as he shoots off um stuff at him i'm not entirely sure how he's shooting guns but it seems like guns as he flies off towards Zoro. And Zoro is reflecting all these attacks. And then we see them duel right and left. They both get a hit on each other. I don't have much time, as Zoro says. If we keep dragging things out, the sword will kill me. Now... Apparently, there's two different types of translation. One is unofficial and one's official. In the unofficial, it says, King says, I, I feel close to my limit, too. And then the other one. And the other one, he says, Sorry. Uh, all right. And that one. He says, I can sense the threat you represent. That's what King says in the official translation. So he's some so his race is special. Doesn't change anything for me, Soro says. But in the official translation he says, so it's definitely from some kind of so he's definitely from some kind of special race. But it's got nothing to do with me. We're in the same boat then. But you had your time on the top. Now you got to make room for us. As he says that to King. Which is kind of interesting. As we, we know what King is. He's a Lunarian. Who, who was treated terribly by the world government. But we don't know the full story unfortunately. So then we see Zoro ready up an attack. King of Hell, three sword style. Don't get ahead of yourself. Kaido san is going to be the next pirate king, King says. As he flashbacks to a memory of meeting Kaido for the first time. As we see Kaido. It seems to be he was in a punk hazard. Or somewhere where he was being captured and experimented on. You're Lonarian. The government will never let you go. I saw their, I saw their experiments to test your endurance. I'm leaving this place to form my own pirate crew. So how about it? Are you in, guinea pig? Do you really think you'll be able to change the world? King says. I'm the only one who can, Kaido retorts. The test subjects have escaped, and an alarm goes off. Your name? Arbor. That's what King's name says. Or Elber, 
depending on the translation. You're too strong for a name like that. Call yourself king. Stand by me and I'll never sell you out, says Kaido. Young Kaido, that is. He doesn't have his mustache yet. From to from today onwards, you are my right-hand man. <laughs> and then we cut back to uh, Zoro using his attack, pur purgatory, only beauty. But it seems that King avoided the attack. The fire is burning, so that didn't make a scratch. And then we see uh, King shoot out another Imperial Dragon Fire in the shape of Kaido as a dragon. That's what I forgot to t mention about the previous. It's the same thing that he used on his men. Those flames are like magma. And then we see them clash as they're blocking with both swords and then King uses the thing to catch his swords again. That again, Zoro says, the sword breaker. But he, he, but it seems like he pushed himself with hockey or something. Because there's the black electricity drawing. It's like he's using Ryu, R Royu, I believe that, R Ryu, the stuff that uh, Luffy was training with, with Horogoro. I won't let you take away my blades. Oh, he says my named blades as he pushes off and regains his stance. Whoosh. He speed up. That means I can cut him. As we see King kick Zoro in the face. Oof. But then Zoro retorts in a bird dance, and he spins around, slicing King right down the middle. King steps back. You've caught on to how my powers work. That's right. Ready to admit you're beaten, Zoro says. As they fight back and forth, doing damage to one another. You're blocking now, though you said my attacks had no effect. You seem scared now. Your kind is too inferior for you to have a prayer against me. That's the kind of thinking I hate most, Zoro says. I'll remember you as a decent swordsman, King retorts. If you survive me, I'll, I'll scar you so bad that you'll never forget. I think that's what Zoro says. And then we see Imperial Fire Dragon. And it's just a bigger version of the Imperial Dragon. And then we see Zoro go, King of Hell, three dragon style. 103 senses. Soaring Jiku, J J J Goku Dragon. And that is a awesome an attack. Cutting up the dragon fire that King let out. Slicing King's wing halfway off as we see Zoro soaring through the air with his swords. But in the official translation, it also says, King of Hell, Three Swords Serpent, 103 Mercies, Dragon da Damnation. And then we have To Be Continued. Even dragons can be slayed with a single swing. And this plays into the fact that Zoro originally was... The, plays into the fact that maybe Zoro is an ancestor of the Dragon Slayer, who is the original owner of Shusui. I believe, I, I believe it was Ryoma? But anyways, that was a really cool... Look at that page. It is amazing. As he, like, he completely sliced through that attack like it was cheese. And King was so shocked. He was, like, flabbergasted. And, oh, this chapter was amazing for Zoro fans, that's for sure. And it's good to see Zanji was tapped out. And that was the chapter. So... 
as not Jesus review, I give this a 10 out of 10. Hopefully, Jesus will return in the next chapter review. If that is next year or this year early. This might be Zoro vs. King might be the last chapter of the year of 2021. I hope to do more chapter reviews onwards. It's fun, and I enjoy it, and I really like One Piece. I hope to... I hope who all watches this video enjoys it as well. Even though I am, you know, just going with the manga and just going with my thoughts. And honestly, the drawings uh, Oda creates are always amazing. I really love this style. If I could draw, I would draw like that. <laughs> Anyways, this is not Jesus signing off. Have a good evening. 10 out of 10 Zoros.